Hello guys, in this video, I'll show you how to reduce the heating issue of the Redmi 1S and how to make the RAM management better. So for, for this, you will need to have root permissions enabled. That means you will have to root your device to get the heating issue solved or uh, to have better RAM management before Xiaomi really fixes it by the software updates. For this, you will need to root your device and I have the link for rooting your device uh, I have already made a video on that I have the link in the description below so check that out and root your device if you want to reduce the heating issue or solve the RAM management issue for this you will need two applications uh, for performance I am preferring no frill CPU application over here and for RAM management you will need Greeny 5 now uh, I will give the link of the applications in the description below so check that out and let's open no frill cpu this mainly these applications control the cpu usage like it you can minimize the cpu usage by which you can control the voltage given to the cpu and due to which the heating heating of the processor reduces as the clock speed of the processor is reduced due to which the less power is consumed and as the power consumed is less the heating uh, heat which comes out is reduced so I prefer using 1.3 gigahertz or 1.19 you can prefer both uh, whichever is preferable for you max clock frequency set it to 1.19 or 1.3 whichever suits you try both of them whichever suits you follow that and set the minimum clock frequency to 300 megahertz due to which whenever the your phone is in uh, whenever the screen is off the phone will have minimum amount of uh, frequency CPU frequency that is 300 megahertz if you set this to 1.19 gigahertz then whenever even if the device is not working in not working the processor will be clocked at 1.19 gigahertz that will uh, consume, consume more battery now governor select governor as on demand this on demand means the the CPU will change the frequency according to the demand of the mobile if you are playing any high end game then the CPU all the cores will run at 1.19 gigahertz if you are running uh, any normal application like Facebook or something like that then it will only use the uh, speed whichever is required for the Facebook application so this is how on demand works and uh, for the IO scheduler let it be at CFQ and select apply on boot option because apply and boot means that whenever you reboot your device the these settings will be hold and uh, these settings will not change due to this you don't have to change the settings every time you reboot your device now just hit apply and as it will show you success over here and you will need to grant the uh, root permission for this application so just grant it if you are using it for the first time and see to it that the you don't clock the max frequency to 300 megahertz or less than 600 megahertz rather because it uh, the device may become unusable if you select that so just click apply and that's it now this was for the performance uh, or to reduce the heating issue now to have better RAM management use the application greenify the greenify application is very good application and it greenifies uh, the applications which you don't use and run at the background like right now I am not using Google Plus application even though that must be running in the background and uh, consuming the RAM which results in giving me less amount of RAM over here so for this by using this application you can have better uh, RAM management and this will avoid awakening of the device uh, due to certain apps uh, which may awake your device and due to which the battery life may reduce so for this just click greenify and select whichever applica applications you want to greenify and you don't want them to run in the background like whatsapp i want to run it in the background because if i select whatsapp and hibernate it like i if i greenify it then whatsapp won't run in the background due to which i won't receive any notifications or the messages uh, sent me on whatsapp so don't select such applications which you use on regular basis or which you use on uh, time to time basis. So I don't use Android Authority app right now. So I'll just select whichever apps I don't want to run in the background whenever I don't want. Like Loader Droid. Loader Droid is an application 
uh, used for downloading so i need that to run in the background because whenever from chrome i select download option loader droid should uh, know that i have i'm downloading and it should uh, it should down start downloading i don't need olx google plus application these applications so i'll just select them don't select swift key because if you select your keyboard application then it won't come when you type anything so after you select these applications whichever applications you don't want to run in the background just select this just select that and they will be there now go ahead and hit plus because there are many more applications which you may like to hibernate like i don't want these applications to run in the background so i'll just select those applications whichever i don't want to run in the background so i have selected these applications then just hit this and the applications will be greenified the main thing which you will notice after this is the ram consumption is uh, reduced and you will get better battery life too because the apps do not do not wake the device uh, whenever even if you are not using it so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching if the heating issue is uh, too much for you even after using this then the option for you is custom roms like you can install cm11 mocky rom any rom then it will obviously solve your issue and get you through this and the roms are really great as of now the roms are giving better performance and less heating issues so i would suggest to flash a custom rom uh, to reduce the issues you are facing so thank you guys thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos too i have i'll give the link of the sinusen mod and uh, mocky rom videos in the in the description below so check that check them out thank you guys make sure you follow on, follow me on google plus thank you